So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is mitigate spires with min difference in tensorflow so first of all click on start lab now what you need to do wait for the credential to open now we have to just click on open the cloud console incognito window so sometimes it may ask for username and password check the lab for it now here it's getting signed in so no need to worry about it here click on i understand and if another pop-up comes click on agree and continue and just we will move forward to the next step so now from the navigation menu what we need to do here we have to open the vertex ai and enable all the apis so how we will do it from the navigation menu here you can see vertex ci you have to just come over here wait a second vertex ci and just on the dashboard click on it you can do one more thing you can use the search box and type on the search box vertex ci and open it simply like that only so now here click on enable all recommended apis it will take few seconds to enable So after that what we need to do is we have to open the notebook that we have to click on the workbench and create a fresh notebook from the lab instruction so if you'll try to hit check my progress for the task number one you'll get the score without any issue if you have followed the way i have done in the lab so it may take some time so let's move ahead to the second task you can see here we have to use the same region as per the number that is in my case it's us central one so let's wait for the api to fully propagate and here what you need to do we have to just create a workbench so make sure you are in an instance section only not other section for the name you don't need to change anything only for the region and zone you have to just confirm from the lab instruction also you can see we got the score for number one task so here just click on create as in my case the zone was same so i am creating it if you get any other zone you have to just select it from there only it may take time for the jupiter instance to get ready meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video do like it and do subscribe to the channel too also share among your whatsapp groups and community groups so that more people can learn the cloud finally you can see instance is ready now click on open jupyter lab so sometimes what happens you get a necessary error and the notebook fails so you have to do one thing close it come back here and open the jupyter lab one more important thing is that sometimes files issues or there are some er errors so you have to just select this and just click on the reset and the instance will reload itself and reset itself you have to do only when you face error so now we have done this part of this lab now for the second task we have to wait for the jupyter notebook to open it may take two to three minutes sometimes even more so just wait for it until you get the output basically until the jupyter lab opens you can see here finally the page is open now you have to click on the terminal option and from here just copy the task number two command and paste over here and it will take at least five to ten minutes so wait for it and make sure your laptop does not go on sleep this command may take five to ten minutes so you need to wait for it and after that we will be done with the lab guys so just wait for a few more minutes So as you can see here all the tasks have been executed now we have to move to the lab instruction and check the score so let's check the score one by one and then we'll end this lab last task 
and check the score and in case you haven't checked the playlist for the remaining laps do check it and 